Once upon a time, Travis Kelsey was in a very public relationship with a woman named Kayla Nicole. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end and the media personality had the internet in a chokehold with their cute photos and lovey-dovey posts. Sadly, their relationship wasn't built to last. In fact, there were several red flags along the way that were busting Kayla upside the head. Travis is a narcissist. Now, we heard that somebody thinks our singing is a little bit distracting. Distracting. So we'll no longer be doing karaoke sessions in our videos. <laughs> Psych! You need to give it up. Had about enough. It's not hard to see. We gonna do what we want. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> You're not my daddy. <laughs> now, before we get into other people's business, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of barbecue brisket beef jerky, green apple licorice, and butter toffee peanuts. Prior to becoming a Super Bowl champion, Travis was a lonely bachelor looking for love. In the spring of 2016, he appeared on an E! Network dating show called Catching Kelsey. 50 women from 50 states competed for a chance to ride Travis's pigskin right into the end zone. Now that sounds fun as hell. Contestant Maya Binberry won his heart. The show premiered in October 2016, and since viewers were still watching everything play out on TV, Travis and Maya had to keep their relationship low-key until after the season finale aired in November 2016. By December 2016, Travis had already moved on. And apparently, he didn't give Maya the memo. Oh, hell no. Travis had been following Kayla on Instagram, and over the course of about a month, he started liking some of her pictures and watching all of her Instagram stories. He admitted to E! News that he was stalking her, but he wasn't making any major moves. So Kayla decided to take matters into her own hands by sliding into his DMs. Oh, hell no. In an Instagram post, she wrote, slid into that thing like it was third base. Lesson here is making the first move might be your best move, sis. Or not. We know, we know, we know. A woman making the first move doesn't always mean a relationship is doomed. However, we've done enough of these red flag videos to know that whenever a woman steps into the role of the pursuer in a heterosexual relationship, things rarely end well. Travis and Kayla started dating almost immediately and made their public debut in May 2017 at Jeremy Macklin's wedding. When the internet caught wind that they were an item, there was one person who was in their feelings, his ex-girlfriend, Maya. After doing the math on the timeline, there was a bit of an overlap between the end of his relationship with Maya and the start of his new relationship with Kayla. In a tweet, Maya wrote, When you and your ex broke up five months ago, but you find out via social media that he's supposedly been in another relationship for six. <laughs> Oopsie. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I feel like Travis is a narcissist, so most narcissists don't change. With Kayla in his life, Travis popped up and popped out, looking like he hopped up out the bed, turned his swag on, took a look in the mirror, said, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm getting money. Oh. Soldier boy, tell him. <laughs> yeah. Not only did it appear that Kayla was helping him step his game up in the fashion department, but the California native also looked like a little snackety snack by his side. In addition to that, she's educated as well. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in broadcast journalism from Pepperdine University and has worked as an on-air host for ESPN, Barstool Sports, and TMZ. While enjoying getting to know her new boyfriend, Kayla had to deal with a ton of backlash from the public. She told a relationship podcast that a lot of people in the black community, in particular black men, were upset that she was dating outside of her race. The scrutiny caused her to feel emotionally vulnerable, and it added more stress to her personal life. Kayla said, I could never comprehend it. It broke my heart so much, especially because I was always the girl that would stand up for black men. Travis immediately brought Kayla into his inner circle, and she was spotted spending time with the Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, and Patrick's now wife, Brittany Matthews, became one of Kayla's closest friends. Kayla became a permanent fixture at Travis's games and split her time between living with Travis in Kansas City and an apartment she was renting in Los Angeles. She also spent time with his family and vice versa. 
In October 2019, during a night out at a bachelor party, Travis showed up on a random woman's social media account. It was a harmless interaction. The woman appeared to be a fan, and she asked Travis to give one of her friends a shout out while on camera. But y'all know the bitter Bettys on social media turned it into a scandal. They started DMing Kayla the video and concocted a story about Travis cheating on her. Messy as hell. Just messy. You know what? While I'm here, because I've been saying this for years, whether I have a man or not, my life lesson to women, stop coming to people as a woman. Just stop. I don't even think, I don't even think men do that. I don't think dogs do that. For some reason, women think that we have this duty to come to other women as a woman. Stop! Did nobody ask you to do all that? Mind your business. Stay in your lane. Don't come over here with that mess. Stay where you at. Tell them, girl. After three years together, the couple broke up. It was the start of a cycle of numerous breakups and makeups. Based on previous red flag videos, frequent breakups are typically a sign of disharmony and usually lead to a permanent split. Romantic relationships aren't always a straightforward path to happily ever after. Sometimes there are some bumps along the way. According to PsychologyToday.com, 60% of people have been in an on-again, off-again relationship. And some evidence suggests that a pattern of separations and reconciliations is toxic to the relationship and to each partner's personal well-being. The more frequently couples cycle back and forth between being together and being apart, the more their relationships tend to deteriorate to involve negative interactions, less satisfaction, and less commitment. By the start of 2020, they were back together and more in love than ever. In July 2020, they took a trip to Lake Tahoe with Patrick, Brittany, and some other friends. Weeks later, their relationship was over. Again. An online user shared a video with the title, Girlfriend of NFL player Travis Kelsey Leaves Him After He Got Caught with Becky. Oh, hell no. With social media users losing their minds over the allegations, Travis took to his Twitter to write, This is fake news, a lie, and not why Kayla and I broke up. Take all your hatred somewhere else, please. Okay, Travis. So what was the real reason for their split? Well, we're unsure. However, some online sources claim Kayla was ready for Travis to put a ring on it after nearly four years of dating. But Travis wasn't quite ready to make that kind of commitment. With her. Ooh. So they went their separate ways, but not for long. Ahead of the 2020 holidays, they reunited. During a podcast appearance, Travis promised he was going to spoil Kayla with some nice gifts for the holidays, and he described her as being the absolute best. Okay, we'll see. Would an engagement ring be waiting for her underneath the tree? Hell no. Hell no. Christmas and New Year's came and went, honey, without a proposal. And during a January 2021 Instagram Q&A session, Kayla decided it was time to turn the heat up on his ass. It's getting hot in her. <laughs> when a follower asked if she was ready to be a mom, Kayla responded, false, but I'm ready to be a wife. <coughs> 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 Begging or strongly hinting that you're ready to get married is never a good idea. Why? Because you run the risk of someone marrying you under pressure when their heart really isn't into it. And it was more clear than ever that Travis just wasn't ready for marriage with her. Oh, this getting messy. In 2021, he received a four-year contract extension from the Chiefs worth an estimated $57 million. He was making more money than most of us will ever sniff during our lifetimes. And apparently, he was very stingy with his pocketbook. With his cheap ass. While chatting away and oversharing on Instagram, Kayla talked about how she could barely afford to shop at fast fashion retailer Zara. And she wondered how other women were able to afford designer pieces. They're rich. So, yeah, period on that. Number two, credit cards slash business credit card. Number three is loans, which, I mean, I'm not taking out a loan if it's not for a house or maybe a business, but to each his own. Uh, number four. Four is sugar daddies, which <laughs> do what you gotta do, sis. Once the video went viral, online users wondered why Kayla was shopping at Zara if her man was making eight figures. You damn right, we wondering. Travis attempted to shut the commotion down by tweeting, "Y'all crazy if you don't think I'm looking out for my baby girl. She's independent. 
Best believe she's straight. Stop lying. Now, do y'all remember when Babyface sang, I give good love. I'll buy your clothes. I'll cook your dinner too. Soon as I get home from work. And then the tone of music shifted a bit, and Webby, Boosie, and Lil Fat started hollering, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, do you know what that mean, man? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, do you know what that mean? I remember that shit. She got her own house. She well, a Reddit a user broke down how this flip-flop from bad. men wanting to take care of women to men wanting women to take care of themselves is actually detrimental. Ooh, let me sit down for this. The Reddit user wrote, These men see women as financial, emotional, and social leeches and loathe the idea of being an emotional or financial provider. Men like that don't really want an independent woman. What they want is a doormat who's willing to do most of the emotional labor in the relationship with little expectations on them. Mm, mm, mm. Sound about right, though. The Redditor went on to say that any man who claims he wants an independent woman is actually looking for someone who has low standards and will accept a low-effort partner. <laughs> Boom. Besties, do you think Travis was defining Kayla as independent so she would accept and be happy with him giving her the bare minimum? Let us know in the comments section. Either way, Kayla made it clear that she and her fast fashion pieces were gonna stick beside Travis regardless. In a tweet, she wrote, Me, my man, and my $50 Zara outfit on a yacht in Tahoe, sweetie. Y'all concern is beneath me. Girl, stop lying. By March 2022, wedding bells were ringing. But not for Travis and Kayla. Oh, Kayla. Instead, they watched from the sidelines as their friends Patrick and Brittany tied the knot. Would Kayla be next in line to wear a beautiful wedding gown? Hell no. Just two months later, Kayla and Travis broke up again. They completely wiped each other from their respective social media profiles, and Barstool Sports released an article claiming things ended due to a dispute involving money. See, I knew it. An insider told the website, Travis is very cheap. In the beginning, he tried to make Kayla prove that she wasn't with him for the money, so she had to pay half of everything. Half? Ooh, honey, the ghetto. Kayla denied the allegations in a tweet. Later on, during an interview with Pivot Podcast, Travis said he wasn't financially supporting Kayla during their relationship because she had a financially stable life and a great career. He added, You've got to be crazy if you think I'd never helped or gave her a couple of dollars to grab some food or she gave me some money. She was giving him money? After ending their five-year relationship with a wet ass and a dry purse, <laughs> Kayla took to her TikTok to express how stupid she felt for thinking being in a long-term relationship would lead to marriage. Baby, don't worry, you ain't the only one. By the start of 2023, Travis made it clear during an interview that he was single, enjoying life, and staying focused on his career. But he had his eye on someone. On July 8th, 2023, he was spotted at Taylor Swift's concert at Arrowhead Stadium, where the Chiefs play. He was seen watching the show from a private box, as well as trading friendship bracelets with fans inside the venue. Friendship bracelets. He later admitted during an episode of his podcast that he was disappointed to find out Taylor doesn't talk to anyone before or after her shows to keep her voice in tip-top shape. He also revealed he made a special friendship bracelet for her with his number on it, but he didn't get the chance to give it to her. We ain't gonna talk about why this grown man making friendship bracelets. Four days later, he showed up to the premiere of the Netflix documentary Patrick and Brittany co-starred in. Kayla was there as well. Although they were pictured separately, everyone assumed they attended the event together. Rumors of a reconciliation continued to run rampant after Travis's mom was seen leaving comments on Kayla's Instagram. At the end of August 2023, Kayla threw Britney a surprise birthday party. This led even more people to believe that not only was she back in the mix with Travis's co-workers and friends, but that she and Travis had reconciled. Little did Kayla know, Travis was already on to the next. Trifling ass. During a September 2023 interview with The Pat McAfee Show, Travis said he got in contact with Taylor and told her, I've seen you rock the stage at Arrowhead Stadium. You might have to come see me rock the stage at Arrowhead and see which one's a little more lit. 
That's corny as hell. So Travis was playing little passive Instagram games to get Kayla's attention, but never had the balls to make the first move. And with Taylor, he pursued her, tried to give her his number, and invited her to one of his games. Don't forget he made a friendship bracelet for her. <laughs> the difference in the way he approached these two situations speaks volumes, don't it? <laughs> sure do. Taylor, with her thirsty ass accepted his invitation expeditiously and showed up to the Chiefs' September 24th game. She was also photographed sitting next to his mom in a suite. She met the mama already? Following the game, Travis and Taylor walked out of the stadium together. A source told People Magazine that afterward, Travis rented out an entire restaurant to have an intimate gathering with his family and friends, and Taylor was there too. So with Kayla, Travis would give her a couple bucks to buy some food. But with Taylor, he rented out an entire restaurant. Dang, dog. Days later, Taylor was spotted at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey to watch Travis's team take on the Jets. Taylor was also spotted out on the town with a few of her celebrity friends, and Brittany joined them. I know she didn't. That was enough for Kayla to unfollow Brittany on Instagram. Bye, Ashy. And we can imagine she felt a little hurt to see Brittany and Travis's mom welcoming Taylor into their inner circle. Days later, Kayla posted a video of herself in the gym and stated she was using her workout as a form of therapy. Good for you, girl. Get snatched. As for this Travis and Taylor situation, well, Taylor is known for being a bit clingy whenever a guy shows her an ounce of attention. Do y'all remember back in 2012 when she dated Robert Kennedy's son, Connor? Sources stated that six weeks into their relationship, she bought a house near his family's compound. She crazy as hell. In a book about the Kennedy family, which we've linked in the description box, a friend of Connor said, Connor liked Taylor, don't get me wrong, but this business of her buying the house on the Cape made him nervous. It seemed as if she was getting a little too attached. Shit, I would be nervous too. They broke up after a few months of dating, and Taylor sold the house about eight months later. That's just one instance of Tay-Tay doing the most, and sources report that she's already getting a little cray-cray over Travis as well. An insider told Yahoo that after showing up to Travis's first game, they spent two days together, and homegirl is already in love with him. Dang, she fall in love fast. The insider added that Travis isn't exactly her type, but she's surprisingly attracted to his all-American jock vibe. The sources went on to say, She likes everything about him. His swagger, his sense of humor, his taste in clothes and music. She need to thank Kayla for all that. During an episode of Watch What Happens Live, Travis admitted that after taking someone out on on two amazing dates, he expects the woman to give up the draws on date three. So it's safe to assume he's squirting syrup all over Taylor's pancakes by this point. <laughs> Seeing her ex move on in real time with all the social media updates has to be hard for Kayla, but something tells us she's dodged a bullet. <laughs> Yep. We predict he'll either drag Taylor along for a few months and then dump her once he realizes she's nuttier than squirrel shit. <laughs> and then she'll write a song about it before they both move on to their next victims. Or maybe these two were meant to be and we just need to sit here, eat our snacks and mind our business. <laughs> nah. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below and thanks for watching RRG.